This is our work, Science is Beautiful, Students at Risk Develop Science and Technology Integrated Projects. We are the authors, namely Rodica Constantin. I'm a researcher at the Institute for Educational Sciences, Bucharest, Romania. And I'm Lija Sarivana, researcher in the same institution. Our work is part of a school attendance initiative that was promoted by UNICEF. It started in 2010, but the particular project we are going to present right now is a part of the teacher training component of the initiative that took place during the school year 2013-2014. The main aim of the UNICEF campaign is to diminish the dropout rate of the students in disadvantaged communities. And among uh, these students, a high degree of failure is marked in science. Science is actually a difficult topic, a difficult subject, considered mainly abstract by students and uh, they find no motivation actually for, for learning such a subject. So our training program tried to find a solution to reverse uh, this outcome and actually we suggested the participants to help students discover scientific concepts and phenomena by project work that involve all the students and also the community. We uh, think of a match that exists in the outer world and this refers to the interconnection, interdependence between science and technology and we assume that such a combination can be brought into the school project work. The rationale for the projects was that actually science activities within the project should re respect the, the official curriculum and all the um, topics, uh, lessons in, in the curriculum are to be developed and explored within projects that definitely and explicitly involve the work of everyone in the class. These projects are supposed to be part of the students' needs and aspirations and experiences in their school and community or their family. So actually the projects become meaningful for all of them. No project is useless. Within the planning of the projects, teachers from various subjects are part of a team and they try to design together the work and the activities of the students. As for the outcomes, we try to develop projects that uh, put students into the situation to develop products that can be valued in their community. As a overall suggestion, our projects are um, meant to guide students in understanding science, concepts in science, and also the, to develop the basic competencies in science and technology. The following slides uh, consist in a variety of examples from successful projects that were implemented in uh, schools from the UNICEF campaign. The first one is a geography uh, project from a rural school in the northwestern part of Romania, the Bihor County. And uh, this project starts actually from a very rough situation in the village. Uh, people had cut down trees and now one of the hills threatens their families and their houses. In the beginning of the project, the teacher tries to discuss with the students and 
look at the soil as it is, discuss the expected unfortunate outcome, and they also try to see if there are any solutions students can find in order to keep the soil fixed. Children um, look at a number of solutions and then they try to test the solutions. And then they work to implement those. In the image, you can see kids trying to fix things and they enjoy it. What is really important about project work in this perspective is that kids come together and work together for a common goal. They learn to cooperate in order to fulfill their tasks and um, very important even sometimes parents join their effort and they become sort of kid adult team to fulfill a common goal in the image we can see one of these parents. Children started also to plant trees. They started at the foot of the hill and uh, the project is ongoing, currently ongoing, and um, um, the specialists that came to overview what the students were doing, they also helped with a design of how the hill is going to be planted with trees. In terms of the relevance for the curriculum, you can see on the slide in black the provision for the geography curriculum where the project is relevant and in blue the provision in the technology curriculum where this project uh, pertains uh, some relevance. We also present the biology project from a rural school in the eastern part of Romania, the Vaslui country. It is about a vegetable garden and uh, students try to have a first-hand experience on germination and um, also the cycle of life of plants. In the first activity, the students prepare the soil and it is very interesting to notice how boys and girls work together for the same activities and they learn how to do this preparation of the soil and they also enjoy it. Later, the students uh, plant the seeds according to a um, protocol they had agreed with their teacher. First the plants need to be aligned and then the seeds and sprouts need to be placed in the right position and at the necessary depth. Scientific rigor is important and the lots are marked with the Latin name as well as the ordinary name of the plant. And um, the kids managed to rejoice in the harvesting that took place last summer. Nevertheless, harvesting it was not the last part of the project. The produce was taken to the market and sold. And with the money they obtained, the children bought some fabric as well as other materials to make some Romanian garments for the next festival. This is a primary education science project. Uh, four graders discovered that the poorest child in their class did not have a proper vegetable garden, so they helped her grow one. And in this situation, family members as well as the primary teachers worked together with the children to fulfill this goal. Last but not least, the chemistry project carried out in a rural school in southern Romania. Here students explored a variety of products and um, they tried to find the relevance of chemistry in the kitchen. 
So they looked at baking powder, at some eggs, at bleach, orange essence, lemon juice, and um, then they picked up some of the items and took them to the chemistry lab in school, and they tested the pH. The project was very fun indeed. The integrated science projects have been successful and meaningful for the students' re learning from a variety of points of view. One is that teachers and students managed to develop a better relationship and um, climate in the class changed and more trust has been developed and um, gradually they became a team which is quite profitable for motivation and uh, good effective acquisition. Another outcome is the actual work of students who manage to develop the competencies that are listed in the national curriculum through meaningful activities. They were subjects in discovery le learning and they observed themselves, carried out ta tasks, explore results and found joy in their learning. Moreover, what they learned was meant to be a long-term uh, acquisition, something that they do for further on, not just for one exam or for graduating compulsory education. Since the projects are part of their personal or, or their community life and experience, uh, what we normally see in the domains of knowledge outside the school, such as science and technology, which are in a strong interdependence, can be brought into school life. And what they learn in science can be further applied in technology, and some of their technological competencies helped students develop their uh, scientific inquiry and um, understand scientific concepts. As a concluding remark that come actually from uh, the students themselves, uh, science is no longer the dull subject but becomes something relevant for their lives and experiences and in the very words of one of the students who participated in the projects, science is beautiful. In the beginning of the project, the teacher tries to discuss with the students and look at the soil as it is, discuss the expected unfortunate outcome, and they also try to see if there are any solutions students can find in order to keep the soil fixed.